Well, if it is buzz they want, they got it. Chrysler's big Super Bowl ad sparking major debate today. The automaker spending $9 million on an ad featuring Detroit native Eminem when it still owes the American taxpayer billions of dollars for bailing it out. So, did you get your money's worth? Take a look. I got a question for you. What does this city know about luxury? Huh? What does a town that's been to hell and back know about the finer things in life? Well, I'll tell you more than most. You see, it's the hottest fires that make the hardest steel. Add hard work and conviction and the know-how that runs generations deep in every last one of us. That's who we are. That's our story. Now, it's probably not the one you've been reading in papers. The one being written by folks who've never even been here and don't know what we're capable of. Because when it comes to luxury, it's as much about where it's from as who it's for. Now, we're from America, but this mm, is pretty cool. New York City. Joining me now, syndicated radio hosts Lars Larson and Nancy Skinner. I don't know. I got to say, you know, it's not often you watch an ad and you get like chills up your spine. It's pretty cool as far as a comeback story. And God bless the city of Detroit, which has been through so much, as well as the automakers. But there is a question, Lars, actually questions being raised by even Republican lawmakers now coming out and yep. saying, what are they doing spending $9 million on a Super Bowl ad when they owe us still, the taxpayer, $6 billion? Six or 15 billion, and they're calling it Shylock interest rates because apparently the Italians, who are on track to own 51% of this Detroit auto company, aren't happy with their interest rates right now. And so they're Shyster spending all this money. Rates. That's I, what the CEO that's said. What, that's Shyster, what the head of the that, company said. That's a quote. I am paying shyster rates. And he shyster calls rates. these loans that the American taxpayers gave him, quote, a thorn in my side. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? And it's an Italian company, or will be at some point. And will the car ad actually sell cars? Because isn't that the measure of what they're trying to do? Not trying to make political points with Washington, D.C., or maybe warm people up in Detroit to President Obama's administration? Maybe that was the purpose of the m, &M ad. On the other hand, Nancy, I, I, as an American taxpayer, want to get my money's worth. And I'd like to see the, you know, to get, to get repaid. And the way to get repaid, I guess, is to get the brand name out there. Megan, as you know, I'm not only imported from Detroit, I live in Detroit, as your viewers know. I'm in Detroit. Okay, Lars, I'll tell you one thing. To say that a company that receives any sort of uh, dollars from the federal government should not use capitalistic techniques, i.e. advertising, to sell products is insane. Um, ads work, uh, first of all. Ads work, celebrities and ads work. This was a fabulous ad. It increased the Google search. It was number two on the Google search. And it, it increased the Chrysler 200 ad search by 1,600%. Now, to say that it's pretty they received uh, some, let me finish that, they received taxpayer dollars. Wall Street received billions, 18 billion in bonuses alone. Are you saying they shouldn't use marketing and advertising? In fact, no, Fox I never said that, though, Nancy. That you aired, set up, that Nancy, you've Super set up a straw man as usual. Go, go ahead, Lars. Respond. Nancy, you've set up a straw man because I didn't say they shouldn't advertise. They should advertise to sell cars. It looked like they were trying to sell the city of Detroit, which is but fine. But this it makes you want to buy a Chrysler, happy. is her point. I don't think so. Well, let me let me address that point. It. Let me let me answer his question. Okay, they, they use Eminem, a celebrity. That's why Tiger Woods makes the big bucks. That's why William Shatner. That's why Ben Stein. Celebrities work. But I'll tell you this: there was a piece of this ad that resonated beyond Detroit. We were thrilled, obviously, because our story is never told out there. That the rest of the country, the Helen Beck story, that we've been through ten years of recession. People don't get Detroit. They don't understand how fine a city it is. We're the biggest now, the second biggest new Hollywood. All the films are being made here. This hit pilot but you're show not Detroit selling Detroit, Nancy. They're moved you're here selling because cars. they love Detroit. That message is no, never but communicated, see, that again, and it's the American Megan. dream. 
Well, you know, that sounds Megan, good. That's Nancy good, but Lars, is making my point. Yeah, but listen, that's, that sounds good. You know, and it's an American company, and God bless. But, the, but the, the criticism has been, look, you know, you say you've been to hell and back. What you really did was go to Washington and back. And you got a, you got a bailout from the feds to help support yep. union pensions. And now the rest of the company has, uh, the rest of the country has supported you. And we're paying $9 million to fund an ad while, while the CEO of the company comes out and calls these, quote, shyster rates, shyster, which is defined as someone who acts in a disreputable, unethical or unscrupulous way. The American tax person, that's how they thank us? That's not right. And I've got to tell you something. And I think Nancy's made my point. Nancy, they're not selling the city of Detroit. It's a wonderful city. I'll take your point. What you need to do, though, is sell cars and pay the taxpayers back and keep the government the heck out of private business. But to have an Italian company based in Detroit with money borrowed from China making cars for Americans, at least you could use the ad to sell cars. It doesn't do that. It Lars, sells the city that's of what Detroit. It is. Look, at the co look at the debate we're having right now. Look at the buzz this is getting. That car and M&M, that's what that's all about. What are you making the CEO's comments, Nancy? By American, the comments, you know, they, they, they want to refinance this loan. They're paying 11 to 12 percent interest rates. So they do want to refinance this loan. They have paid back. Uh, Those rates are high, but they, so they, but want, they had so no they other choice. They, they were going to go into bankruptcy. They, they should be thanking the American taxpayer for giving them, them those loans, even if they were at high rates. And they have. No, and they, they call it shysters. He's. No, He's, he, he, you know They're what? And he went on and to say that they want to hurry up and repay those loans as quickly as possible. That's half out of context, half the sentence. All three automakers, Lars, have come back. They haven't well, made all three of them made profits. Nancy, since if they're going to the repay the loans, why do they care about a million the jobs rate? in this country, Lars? You can't say that this wasn't Nancy, real good. Selling I'm going to tell you something. All right, I got to go. I'll give Lars a quick chance to respond. Companies should have gone bankrupt the way they normally do, wiped out the union contracts, preserved the bondholders, and it should have been owned by an American company, not by Fiat, which makes some and of the worst in cars in the world. A okay, depression. all right, we gotta leave. That's what we be. <laughs> we gotta leave it at that. But uh, we are taking your comments on it, and I have a feeling we're gonna get a lot. Kelly at FoxNews.com. <laughs> Lars and Nancy, all the best.